Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, this one is about uh, green screen. Although the subject is pretty much covered on the internet, there's plenty of tutorial about fusion. Um, the, the one that I suggest you to, to have a look at is by Vito Confusion. You can find it uh, in his Patreon. I will leave the link in the description. But anyway, I wanted to share my uh, perspective on the topic. So let's just jump right in. So the first thing that we have to do is to set up a linear workflow. So let me add a gamut node and let's uh, change the source space to sRGB and uh, be sure that we have the remove gamma checked and then we can copy the gamut over to the background what we need to do now is to add a uh, viewer LUT which will uh, add back the gamma in our viewer. So to do, to do it we need to uh, select this LUT icon and then select the gamut viewer LUT and edit it. Go in the out, output space and choose sRGB and pre-divide post multiply and then we have to do the same for the second viewer and that's it so now we can uh, focus on our green screen as we can see if we scrub to through the video we can see that uh, even if this is a clip downloaded from the web, I don't remember actually where I got this one. I think it's uh, a sample from Shutterstock or from Videohive. I'm not sure, but as you can see, this, um, this is a fairly heavily um, compressed video. But even if it is compressed, I have to say that the green screen itself is pretty good. This is a lockdown shot, so the camera is not moving and that uh, gives us the opportunity to create a better clean plate. Let's add a delta here and view it. One thing that is important to remember is that you don't want to um, sample from the delta key output itself and if you need to enlarge the sample we just press command on a mac or control on a pc and drag and then you can sample so as you can see we have a fairly decent um, selection let's hop over the mat tab and crush the black and crush the white. Uh, what we want to do here is actually dilate our mat. Let's go 25 here and maybe we can okay, let's do something like this because we want all the hair details inside. Maybe this is a bit too much. We can go something like this and maybe we can add an ellipse mask and pipe it into the garbage mat to, to get rid of unwanted area. Just invert the mat and we're done. So now that we have uh, our alpha, I'm gonna add a mat control and pipe our background in and our alpha and then in the mat control I'm going to combine the alpha invert the mat and post multiply the image so that we um, have just the green screen so now what I'm gonna do is uh, adding a frame average and sample both direction uh, duplicate the missing frames and sample 50 frames. So now, as you can see, 
I get something like this, which will be pretty useful. If I add a alpha divide and a brightness contrast, if I clip the black and the white, remove all the channels and activate the alpha, I can get back my clean plate. So now I'm adding a alpha multiply and all I have to do is right click and save the image and call it plate.exr as you can see I've been rehearsing. So let's save it. Let's get rid of this and add our plate exr let's get rid of this and then we can add a clean plate node and set this one to hold frame frame zero will be okay let's pipe in the plate in the garbage mat also and view the clean plate and then we select the green channel invert and then we crush the high we can group the edges and we end up with a perfect clean plate so let's group this um, with command G on a Mac or control G on a PC and rename let's call this one clean plate okay so now we can add our delta gear and add our clean plate back. So as you can see right out of the bat we get a very good um, key. One thing that we have to do also is denoise our footage and we are gonna do this with the remove noise node. Let's lock the colors and let's add some softness and let's bring back some details. So if we have a look at the uh, alpha before looked like this and after as you can see is better when denoised. So now what we want to do is dupli duplicate this delta here let me do some room here and pipe the background and let's do another piper router and then we add our clean plate here again so now we have these two here which are, which are uh, absolutely identical let's call the second one which will be our output let's call it alpha and on the first delta here let's go into the uh, mat control and crush the the blacks a little bit and crush the white so that we end up with something like this now we want to erode our mat and maybe blur it a little bit so if now we add this delta here into the solid mat of the delta here the second one we we got rid of all the imperfection inside our mat so in this particular case there's no need to have separate mats one for for the hair and one for the rest. These, um, this of course depends uh, on the footage you're working on. Let's move on and deal with the, the spill. There are many ways to dispill our footage inside of Fusion. The one that I'm going to show you is a macro that I came up with that you can find on Reactor and it's called 
advance this pill so we want the non denoised footage let's do something like this so right out of the bat the speed color is set to green but to work correctly this macro will need an alpha and just pipe this one into the math input and we will have the, our alpha so now we can uh, do many things such as add back the background luminance or remove completely the saturation of our background and of course control our fringes I'm gonna leave this as is for now and what I'm gonna do is add a channel boolean and I'm gonna add I'm gonna pipe the the original footage as a background and the dispute one as the foreground and I'm gonna subtract them one from another and let's do nothing on the alpha so as you can see here I have all the green that was dispilled from this image and how is this gonna be any useful let me show you how let's add a custom tool and in this custom tool let's move over to the channel tab and let's copy the green channel over to the red and to the blue channel and let's group this one and call it spill difference and now we are gonna add our background but instead I'm gonna use this awesome tool which is called wireless node you can find the wireless node on reactor let's make these let's show the tile and let's uh, reference the background and rename it background copy so now if I merge the background on top sorry we need this one like this so if I merge the background on top I can use the spill difference as a mask I just need to go into the merge node and use the luminance so as you can see what I'm doing here I'm using the spill difference to dial in where the green was some new detail one thing that we have to do is to blur the background copy maybe something like this and then we can dial the effect in or out as we need to and I'm gonna leave it like so the next thing that I'm that we're gonna do is to edge extend our uh, our footage and to do so I'm gonna use another macro that I created which is called advanced advanced edge extend which you can find on reactor but let me show you how it works let's pipe in our image we need a we need an alpha and let's pipe the alpha into the foreground and as you can see we are extending our edges so I'm gonna remove uh, some of the edge extension using a rectangle tool uh, because in this case and most of the case um, hair details do not actually work with the edge extend 
really well so I'm gonna do something like this and get rid of the extension um, so let's dive into the edge extend for a moment and let's move to the alpha adjust see for example here I'm um, the, the, the edge extend plugin is not working correctly so we can adjust the alpha a little bit and maybe erode a touch yeah something like that and then go back to displaying the final result so now uh, all we have to do is to add a mat control and I hate when fusion does that and pipe the alpha into the foreground of the mat control and combine the alpha and post multiply the image oh if you get something like that it means that we have some something wrong going on in our um, alpha if we keep press with the right click on the lat icon we get these gain and gamma controls let's gamma up and as you can see we have a lot of things that we don't want in our key so let's crush the black a tiny amount and restore the fringes a tiny bit and then we can go back to our matte control okay so now that we have corrected that issue we can post multiply our image we are up and running so one one thing that I want to show you is that here for example we have some hair detail which is actually uh, made wrong by the uh, edge extend and what, what I actually would do is add an ellipse mask set the paint mode to subtract and maybe I would track it or animate the mask and just get rid of the edge extension here in this uh, place okay but I'm not gonna do that for this tutorial just uh, so you know that hair or fine details some sometimes can be messed up by the edge extension so um, keep an eye on that so now that we have our alpha I'm gonna add our background let's merge the girl on top of our background and and let's add a blur here I'm gonna use the filmic blur which is another macro that you can download from reactor that I made and let's increase the defocus size and maybe tweak the shape a little bit and enable the chromatic aberration as you can see uh, the result is pretty nice but we have to do one important thing which I'm gonna show you using the waveform monitor as you can see the black of our background do not match with the black of our girl as you can see the girl has deeper black uh, than the background you can take care of this using color correction but I'm gonna use another macro that I created which is the black smudge and of course this macro is available on reactor and as you can see let me get rid of this for a moment you can sample a color to be your black or you can input a source image which is what I'm gonna do 
let me show you a little trick I have for this. Let's add a clean plate and let's pipe in the background in and, and let's add the same background in the garbage mat and view the clean plate. So now let's choose the luminance and if I move these sliders I get my details back. So let me show what I want to do. Let's grow the edges and move back our... And this is exactly what I want. I just want the um, darker uh, part of the image so now I can add a blur node and I can blur it and now I can add my blur into the black smash and as you can see the black have been matched automatically as you can see so I think we are almost done. We just need to add a light wrap. So um, let's uh, add a wireless node, another wireless node. And again, show our tile picture and add the background again. And let's call it background copy two and then we'll need another wireless node for the alpha and let's call this one alpha copy so now what I'm gonna do is actually generate a um, light wrap from these alpha and I'm gonna do so using a bitmap node and make a copy of it and let's pipe one into the other so now selecting the second one in the paint mode we can choose multiply and going back to the first one we can choose invert so now if we view the second bitmap node and selecting the first one we move we increase the soft edge we get our light wrap if we get this issue here we just have to select the clipping node the clipping mode to frame and it will go away so now that we have these uh, light wrap uh, uh, mat. I can simply add my background on top of my image and I can pipe my um, light wrap in the mask input of the merge. Of course I would blur my background and also, in this particular case, I would add a luma here and I would do something like so to just have the brighter part of the image. So let's dial the thing back a little bit and we are pretty much done. So let's, let me show you one thing, um, instead of using these uh, uh, light wrap, I want to show you these expo light wrap, exponential light wrap that I made, which is not yet on reactor, I hope uh, it will be soon actually, and let me show you the difference. So we actually have a exponential light wrap which gives us a very um, a better result, a more realistic result. Let me show you how it works. Yeah, something like that. 
and maybe just dial it back okay now the last thing that I think we need to add is some uh, film grain and let's make it colored and a little bit smaller and let's decrease the strength yeah something like that and now I think we are done let's give it a playback so um, I think this pretty much covers the way that I usually do my um, green screens of course uh, some of the techniques uh, needs to be adapted to the footage that you have to deal with okay here's the playback as you can see our result is pretty good let's zoom in the hair details and as you can see they're pretty awesome and also let's have a look at the motion blur which is almost perfect thanks to the edge extension so um, thank you very much for watching i hope you like this one and let's see you in the next one bye bye